Hi everyone! You also can't wait for the official release of the new macOS. Well, Apple shows you all the new features and great new things somewhere on spring, and then you're supposed to wait until November to get hands on it. Well, you don't need to wait anymore. You can install the public beta right now. Wait a second, beta? There'll be something wrong with it, it's not ready yet. Well, what if it will just break my computer? Are you also asking these questions? <laughs> then you are in the right video. Because here I'll answer you all of these questions and give you my personal experience in installing and using public beta of macOS. So let's jump right into it. I'll first talk about the public beta a little bit, give you my advices. But if you have already committed to install it, you can jump ahead, you can use the timestamps below the video and jump ahead straight to the installation guide. But if you are still a bit hesitating, keep on watching on this video. Well, the public beta is available for everyone with a compatible Mac. I'll talk about it a bit later. You don't need any special account, you don't need to have a developer's account for it. Yes, I'm not talking about developer's beta. This is public beta, which is usually released somewhere in July, August. So everybody can download it right now. That is why I decided to make this guide and walk you through the steps before and during the installation. But first, let's answer these questions I mentioned before. First of all, this is not an official release of macOS. Apple is kind of recommending you not to install it. They are basically scaring you throughout the whole installation, telling you make a backup, do this, do that, maybe it will not work and so on. But the fact is that they are already testing the system for quite a long time through the developers. Because the developers beta is always straight away after the conference in spring. But now this is already public beta, it's been tested for some time. So there shouldn't be any major issues with it. And from my own experience, I never had any problem with it. I'm installing these public betas around the end of August usually, and this is pretty much the final version. Yes, you can find some problems, but there will be no major issues with installing it and it will definitely not break your computer. Everything will work just fine. Of course, I recommend you to do the backup as well. If you use Time Machine, you can backup the whole computer. If you don't, just simply get your important data on some external storage. But as I said, don't worry about it. In 99% of the cases, everything will be alright. It's just a basic update. It will reopen everything as it was before. It even remembers the tabs in Safari. All the files, documents, applications. It will be all on the spot like it was before. But now let's note also some few things on the other side that it's not so one-sided. Not everything is perfect with it. First and very obvious thing is that every update brings some major changes usually some new features or some big changes in graphics and so on. In this year, the thing I would like to note is system preferences. For so many years, it was the same. But with this macOS release, it changes into system settings. So if you are not familiar with iPad or iPhone style, it might be quite a big change for you. So if you are not really not committed to this change, maybe you can still wait a little bit. But usually these changes are for better, so you will definitely get used to it and you will like it more than before. Next thing is that this is not a final version, so there still might be some bugs, some apps might turn off or it might be a bit slower. Also there will be some graphical issues, maybe overlapping icons or some mistypes and it doesn't have any effect on functionality or anything. And to be honest, with this public beta I installed a few weeks ago, I haven't seen any problem any app crash, nothing, it basically, it sounds funny, but it basically works better than the final version of macOS Monterey. I also have to note one more thing, because that's specific to the apps you are using. It's a common problem that some apps are not optimized yet for the system. So what might happen is that it will not work on the new macOS, especially those downloaded from the internet, from the third parties. Usually these updates are ready as well, so we can just go on and update it and it will work fine. For example, last year the problem with Photoshop. I installed a public beta, but Photoshop was not ready yet for it. Again, just to note now that this year 
I so far didn't have any problem. But I don't want to be saying that for all of you because you might be using some other apps which I don't use and they might not work so it's worth noting that this might happen. But if you are really worried that your Mac will be ruined, nothing will work and so on and so on, you don't need to be. It will be all just fine. So I think it's enough talking and let's get straight to the installation guide. First step is to check the compatibility. Now on the screen you should see the list of compatible devices for this update. So if you need to, pause the video. Before you update to any beta version, you should back up your data. No matter what, you never know what can happen, so it's better to have it. You can use Time Machine for it, or just copy the important data to external drive. As I said before, this is a precautionary step if something goes wrong. Installing macOS public beta requires enrolling your Mac in Apple's free beta software program. Well, it's nothing scary to do. Just follow the link which you will find in the description. It's basically the way Apple wants to tell you that this is not the final version. It is still in testing. But there is nothing scary for you. There is no obligations for you. You will just Keep on using that, which will give data to Apple, so they will know that it works on this computer, it doesn't, and they can fix it. Once you are signed in, scroll back to the top and click on Enroll your devices. Then select macOS. You will be redirected to this page where you can find the download button. Unless you have changed it, it will go to downloads and from where you can open the beta installer. Once the installer completes the setup, the system software update panel will open automatically and it will display the macOS beta download. So click on upgrade now and download it. It will definitely take some time to download the file. It usually has around 11 GB. So depending on your internet. Once the download is complete, the macOS installer will launch automatically. If it doesn't for some reason, you can find this in the application folder. From now on, you just simply click continue, walk through all the steps as instructed. You agree to the terms and conditions and so on. Once you complete the setup, the Mac will restart and start the installation. It can actually restart many times, give black screens. Just leave it how it is. Leave it do the thing and once it reboots, it will be in the new macOS Ventura system. I think it was easy, right? But even easier is to click that like button. It helps my channel a lot. It helps to spread the video further and this way help a lot more people. Also, if you are interested in this topic, if you want to know what is new in macOS Ventura, and not only that, if you want some more tutorials, tips, how to get better around the system, you should subscribe to the Planet Academy because I will definitely make a lot 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 more videos so see you there